Hey everyone, this is Diego at MediaLoot and I am here today to show you how easy it is to use a rubber stamp effect. Once you have downloaded the file, simply unzip it, I will do it right here, and open the PSD file. As you may see here in the latest panel, we have two different types of effects, soft and hard. You may work on any of those to make your own stamp as they are treated as smart objects so when you modify one of them you would automatically update both effects. So let's take a look and see how it works. Let's focus on the soft grunge one. So let's expand this layer group. Uh, I will hide all the other stamps we will not work so this demo is easy to follow. So now you simply double click here on this layer thumbnail and that will open a new window where we will work to modify our stamp. So let's say you want to change the media loot text for rubber stamp. Let's do that. Oops. Let's decrease a bit the font size and also change the color. Let's apply the changes and let's hide the star and the HQ layer and let's place a custom shape we have right here. This is just to show you how easy it is to modify this stamp. Okay, let's say we are happy with this one so we close the file, save the changes And as you may see, the stamp has been updated. And this happened in both type of effects, in the soft and in the hard grunge one. Let me hide those layers. Now, if you want to use it, let's say on an envelope, for example, let's open a file I have right here with an envelope. All you have to do is simply select the layer you want, click and drag. Now from here, uh, this is a smart object, you can transform it until you are happy with the result. Maybe decrease the opacity just a bit to make it look a bit more real. And that's it. That is how easy and quick it is to use a rubber stamp effect. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.